Hello library friends and welcome to another episode of Paper Cuts with the Hampstead Branch Library. I'm Miss Liz and we're going to be making some wonderful little Christmas trees today. So you can make some trees and decorate your house or just have a fun activity to do. These are pretty simple. It's not origami, it's kirigami because we're going to be needing some scissors. You're going to start with a square of paper. I've got some construction paper. You can use any kind of paper as long as it's a square. You do need scissors because we're going to be cutting. First thing you're going to do is fold your paper into a big square. Then we're going to fold it into a smaller square. If you notice my, I'm moving this paper around very strangely. I have a different camera set up and everything was mirrored. So it was difficult to get things in the middle of the screen. So I apologize for how much I'm going to move stuff around. I want really good creases with the construction paper because it's very stiff. So I want to make sure I get good creases. Now we're going to make a diamond. So I'm going to pull up a flap and I'm going to fold it down into a diamond shape. This is exactly what we did when we made paper cranes. This is a very common shape used in origami. I'm going to line up my corners. I want those to be precise and then I'm going to make sure I have really good creases on the sides of my diamond. It's very important for this fold. Flip it over. We're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a shark fin. You are going to put your finger in the shark fin and sort of flatten it starting at the top and then you're going to bring all your corners together to make that diamond shape. So you have all these little folds in the middle of your paper. And again, make sure you have very good creases. It makes the next step so much easier. So I'm going to use my scissors to help flatten out my edges. Now that we have our giant diamond, we're going to fold in, but when you fold in, make sure that the open space is facing away from you. And then you're going to start folding into the midline. This is very similar to when we did the crane. And then my camera stopped working. But this is very similar to when we did the crane, but make sure you're folding exactly this way. You want the big end to be open because the small end is going to be the top of your tree and that needs to be all connected. So we're going to turn it over. We're going to do the same thing. You're folding your corners to the midline. You're making some little tree triangles. You're making a tree shape. Fold those in. And again, make sure you've got good creases. Construction paper is difficult to fold. It is thick, but it's also kind of cloth-like, so it creases strangely. So now we're going to fold our little flaps inside the tree. So I'm going to unfold. I'm going to flatten out that flap I just made. I'm going to go into the top and press in that crease and this one just folded right in. The others are not going to be so easy. Just make sure you don't unfold your paper too much otherwise you'll unfold it completely and it's difficult to get it back into shape. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to flatten that middle crease of the flap starting at the top because that makes it easier and then I'm just going to push my flap inside. So I'm going to have the exact same shape, that, tri that little triangle shape, but instead of my flap being on the outside, it's going to be on the inside. Now we're going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. So if you ever have trouble doing anything we do things multiple times, so you can just wait and watch all the different times I do it, see the different ways I um, 
work with the paper, the different things I try, because sometimes it just depends on the paper you're working with. It just depends on the folds. Sometimes they go really easily, sometimes they don't. This last one, see, it unfolded. This last one's a being difficult. And now we've got it. So now you've got a triangle with a pointy bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out those scissors. We are going to cut off the bottom. Make sure that bottom is open because if it is closed, you need to start over. Because the top of your tree needs to be closed. Now we're going to cut strips. You do not want to cut to the middle of your tree. Don't go all the way to that line in the middle. You don't need to cut in very far. And you can cut as many strips or as few as you want. It just depends on what you want your tree to look like. It is completely up to you. Now we're going to fold each of the strips into a point. So you're going to fold down a little triangle from the top to the bottom of your strip. And that's going to create your little fir tree effect. And for the, if you're using construction paper, you have to be really careful to make your creases very sharp because it doesn't hold folds very well. Now I'm just going to go up the tree, folding into little triangles. This is a little bit tedious, but it's not really that difficult. Right, once you finish up with that round of folding, you're going to have to start on the next side. So there's two different ways to do that. You can just fold your side of the tree over and make sure that all your little triangles are turned inside so they don't get unfolded. And depending on your paper, that's pretty easy to do. I did it with some origami paper. It was very simple. Construction paper a little more difficult so I've got it folded over I'm gonna make sure all my uh, triangles are folded down and then I'm gonna start folding in on the next segment of the tree and you can just go around the whole tree like that like I said depending on your paper it can be a little difficult So the other way you can do it is you very simply uh, take one segment of the tree, you stand it up, you don't set it on the table like I was doing before. You just separate it out and you start folding like that. This is a little bit more difficult because you have to make sure you're using your hands to get all your creases and your folds. And if you have small hands, it might be harder. So just depending on your paper, you can either do it the previous way or you can try it this way. Just experiment, see what works best for you. If you find another technique that works better, use that one. As long as you're folding down those corners and making um, fur tree points, that is all that matters. And once you get done with all of your segments, which does take some time, then you're going to be left with some really beautiful and pretty simple trees that you can use to decorate.
Now, I was looking at these trees and I was thinking, you know what would be really fun is you could add some glitter. You could Mod Podge them, you can make them out of maybe some wrapping paper if you cut that into squares, and you could make some really pretty trees. You could really dress them up, really craft them up, but you're just starting with something that's pretty basic. So thank you guys for joining us today for Paper Cuts. Tune in next week for some more winter crafting fun, and I will see you again soon.